Proverbs chapter 25. These are also Proverbs of Solomon, which the men of Hezekiah, king of Judah, copied out. It is the glory of God to conceal a thing, but the honor of kings is to search out a matter. The heaven for height and the earth for depth, and the heart of kings is unsearchable. Take away the dross from the silver, and there shall come forth a vessel for the finer. Take away the wicked from before the king, and his throne shall be established in righteousness. Put not forth thyself in the presence of the king, and stand not in the place of great men. For better it is that it be said unto thee, Come up hither, than that thou shouldest be put lower in the presence of the prince, and thine eyes have sinned. Go not forth hastily to strive, lest thou know not what to do in the end thereof, when thy neighbor hath put thee to shame. Debate thy cause with thy neighbor himself, and discover not a secret to another lest he that heareth it put thee to shame, and thy infamy turn not away. A word fitly spoken is like apples of gold and pictures of silver. As an earring of gold and an ornament of fine gold, so is a wise reprover upon an obedient ear. As the cold of snow in the time of harvest, so is a faithful messenger to them that send him, for he refresheth the soul of his masters. Whoso boasteth himself a false gift is like clouds and wind without rain. By long forbearing is a prince persuaded, and a soft tongue breaketh the bone. Hast thou found honey? Eat so much as is sufficient for thee, lest thou be filled wherewith and vomited. Withdraw thy fruit from thy neighbor's house, lest he be weary of thee, and so hate thee. A man that beareth false witness against his neighbor is a maul, and a sword, and a sharp arrow. Confidence in an unfaithful man in time of trouble is like a broken tooth, and a foot out of joint. As he that taketh away a garment in cold weather, and as vinegar upon nitre, so is he that singeth songs and heavy heart. If an enemy be hungry, give him bread to eat, and if he be thirsty, give him water to drink. For thou shalt heap coals of fire upon his head, and the Lord shall reward thee. The north wind driveth away rain, so doth an angry countenance a backbiting tongue. It is better to dwell in the corner of the house though, than with a brawling woman in a wide house. As cold waters are thirsty soul, so is good news from a far country. A righteous man falling down for the wicked is as a troubled fountain and a corrupt spring. It is not good to eat much honey, so for men to search their own glory is not glory. He that hath no rule over his own spirit is like a city that is broken down and without walls.